So what is scoliosis? Scoliosis, uh, the technical definition, is a lateral bend of the spine. So if you look at a child's spine, it is bent to the side, and you can see that uh, most commonly when the child bends forward, it makes it look much more prominent. The vast majority of scoliosis in children is called idiopathic, which means we don't really understand it. So it's a curvature that occurs in essentially normal children. There are a group of scoliosis uh, curvatures of spine that develop in children with other disabilities. Uh, so children with cerebral palsy or certain syndromes can also develop a curvature of the spine, but obviously the management of that is very different. So for the majority of scoliosis, it occurs in young uh, people, really, in 9, 10, 11, 12, that sort of age group. And the concerns we have with it is that the curve can get worse. And that can lead to further deformity that looks unsightly. And because it occurs most commonly in girls, that can be a real psychological issue that shouldn't be underestimated. And it can also cause pain and disability. So it's identified uh, by looking at the young person's spine to see if it's bent and whether they're slightly more hunched over. The person can also complain of some discomfort, although functionally they're usually pretty good. So we then examine them and we do an X-ray and then the treatment can be a spectrum. If it's very mild, nothing need be done to conservative management where bracing programs can be sometimes helpful. And if it's relatively severe and or they're relatively skeletally mature, such the curve is likely to get worse with growth, we may need to consider an operation. So scoliosis is diagnosed primarily by clinical examination. And it's usually uh, detected by the parent. They look at their child, they think they're slightly lopsided. Uh, and then they go to the GP, then concerned that there may be a deformity, a curvature of the spine, and then they come um, to see someone like me. So we do a clinical examination, and then uh, essentially the first uh, imaging is with an X-ray. Now, we can use standard X-rays, which is what we've been doing um, since the 50s, and the dose of radiation is relatively low, but there's been a step change over the last two or three years of the development of the EOS, where the radiation dose for very good imaging is tiny. Um, it is equivalent to a couple of days background exposure. And that really is very helpful in that we can x-ray these children very, very safely. We then have the diagnosis and we can plan then what to do. In some instances, we also need to do an MRI of the spinal column and the spinal cord within the spinal column to make sure it's normal. Uh, that's quite time consuming for the patient. It takes 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but the good news for that is there's no radiation, so it's very safe. You just have to lie and be still. So essentially, it's clinical examination, an X-ray, plus or minus an MRI as required. That's quite a big question, and this is sort of a relatively general answer, in that it all depends upon the size of the curve at presentation and the risk of that curve getting worse. And the risk of the curve getting worse is due to growth. So if a young child presents with a scoliosis and they have essentially their pubertal growth left, there is a significant risk that the curve will get worse. If they present at the end of skeletal maturity with a relatively small curve, you may need to do nothing at all. So if we take the 10, 11 year old presenting with a small curve, we know they've got a lot of growth left. There's a risk that it will get worse. And in some instances, you can have a bracing program that is very effective at controlling the brace and preventing that curve from getting significantly worse. It may get marginally worse, but the object is to prevent it from getting worse to a degree at which you then consider surgery. Because if you 
have a, yet a child, a young person with a significant curve, the only way really to correct that is with an operation. And we also know that if you have a significant curve at skeletal maturity, if it's above a certain level, it will progress slowly into and throughout adulthood. And the only way to prevent that is with an operation. Now, that's quite a big deal. There's no question about it. But surgery nowadays for these type of spinal deformities is really very much better than it used to be. The risks are in fact very small. The time in hospital is now four or five days and the time off school or college is as little as two to four weeks. The average is about four to six weeks and then they get back to normal college and back to sporting activity at three to four months. The long-term consequences of a scoliosis in a young person uh, depends upon the size. Now, for those with a moderate curve, there is a risk that it can get worse into and throughout adulthood that leads to further deformity that can look unsightly and have quite a psychological impact and can cause some pain and disability. But in the main group, as I was saying, of this idiopathic unknown cause of scoliosis, function overall is relatively well maintained even into their 50s and 60s. There's a small risk of having some mild respiratory compromise in that you get slightly short of breath running for a bus. But the scoliosis of itself is not life shortening, nor is it in any way nerve threatening, um, leading to paralysis. So that's very good news. The reason we're so keen to treat these and for the larger curves uh, to treat them surgically if necessary is because patients psychologically can have really significant disability because of the way they look and the severe curvature and also not to be underestimated it is associated with pain and with that comes some disability they don't function to quite as high a level as normal people without a scoliosis and there as I said this small risk of having some respiratory compromise, although, as I say, that's not life shortening, it is an added disability that we can now avoid quite safely with an operation. 